What's going on guys? Well, we're going to fighting secrets. So today I want to talk about working from a hard shell. All right, this is what we call this. You might hear it called something else in some other stupid system, but this isn't some other stupid system. This is gutter fighting secret. So working from our shell would be something like this, all right? So notice now we've got our elbow kind of protecting our vital areas as far as our collarbones, our throat. Uh, we can always put our head down and get smacked in the top of the head like that. As we all know, right up here in the head, pretty, uh, pretty sturdy area to get struck in. We got bones fused all up in here, so it's not really a big deal. Uh, versus if we get cracked in the bridge of the nose, you know, fight might be over, right? We get cracked in the eye socket. Eye socket gets fractured. A little bit painful, believe me. So we want to go ahead and work from a hard shell sometimes. This is more of a close quarters combative type of thing. If I was boxing somebody, I might remain out here, right? But if I'm really, really close to a guy, I might shell up here. Now, what's available here for him to strike, right? You guys might be thinking this, especially my boxers, my MMA guys out there. You might be thinking, well, what, your rib cage is kind of open. You know, your vitals down here are a little bit exposed. That's a valid point, but I can always shell up and cover up if I need to, right? But what we're working with here is this concept. What's available for me to strike with here? Well, obviously we've got that like Jeet Kune Do straight punch, right? But we've also got hammer fists, and this is what we're gonna be working with today. So hammer fists from here are readily available, and if we're gonna get struck, again, we can cover up, but we can still kind of keep our eyes up and at that target, and use our hammer strikes to strike them. We can hammer from here, we can hammer from here. We can hammer from here, here. We can even step off and use sharp points of our elbow. So again, really a close quarters technique, but we're gonna go over right now how to train it on the back. Train this. I simply like to start from here. Obviously, we've got this hand available not only to push back, also to grab. And we're going to be going over using bands and adding them into your heavy bag for a really solid street style workouts. Not just all that boxing crap, but street fighting stuff. We're going to go ahead and do that on a later video, though. So stand by. Make sure you subscribe and turn that fucking bell notification on if you're not a pussy. All right. So what we're going to be doing here is we've got this to push him back if we need to, right? I'm not a big fan of pushing back because again, in sports, get away from me, let me regroup, ah, take that panic breath, and then get back in the fight. In the street, let me push him back. He pulls out a knife, oh, I just got stabbed, right? So we want to try to stick on this guy within reason as much as possible. But we do have this not only to push back, but also to deflect, right? In boxing, you would be called a parry, right? Parry left, jab into him. Well, in this case, if he comes at us with something, we don't necessarily have to cover up and take that impact. We can also parry it and deliver a hammer strike off that parry, right? So from the hard shell, parry, hammer strike. Now, I don't know if the camera can see my feet here, but if it wants to pan down and just take a look at the footwork there, so we parry it, and with that same hand we parry, we step in as well. So it's delivering all of our force down from our feet, up through our body, to our hand, into that target. We're not just striking here, which would be kind of a weak force. Instead, we're bringing all of our centrifugal force into that small surface area, whether that's the nose, whether that's the eyes, whether that's the collarbones, whatever it is, just visualize on your heavy bag when you're training this, target strike areas, collarbones, all right, nose, eyes, uh, sides of the temples, all right, throat, and we're going to be striking into there. So that's the first part of the drill. You do this as many repetitions as you like. I'm the one to judge. Parry, strike in. We can step in with either foot. If it's more convenient for you to step in and step in with that left foot, then do it. But if it's more convenient for you to step in with that right foot, do that. Hey, do both. Why not? All right, so the next part of this drill is here. Now we're going to step in and strike with that rear hammer fist, with that shell that's protecting us. All right, so this can be a little bit tricky for the, those of you guys out there who aren't used to getting strike, struck, striped, struck, 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 struck back at. All right, so a lot of tendencies for people who haven't been in a lot of fights would be like this, right? And they're going to leave their shell wide open, get clocked over the top. 
What I like to tell guys is keep those damn hands up. All right, so you hammer fist somebody, and then you come right back. And keep fucking protecting yourself, because don't think for a second this guy's going to get hammer fisted, and then like the movies go, oh, no, and more than likely he's going to get that hammer fist, he's going to have that split second of shock, and then go on the offensive and try to attack you. So, not only do we bring that back, we're also going to move. Boom. And we want to step off. Now we've got regular available, that straight Jeet Kune Do style punch, we can do more hammer fists, we can come into the elbow, the world's kind of our oyster, but we always want to remember, strike, cover back, and move. All right, strike, keep covering, and move. Strike, cover, and move. Notice we've got this here available as well. If he does start punching at us or throwing some silly shit, we can cover up here. We can protect our temples if we need to. And notice here, I still have somewhat of a view. All right, I'm not covering, I can't see! Ah! No, I'm actually still looking at the target. And that's very important whenever we're fighting, whether you're turtling up like this, or whether you're uh, having more of a hard shell like this, never cover your eyes. I think that should go without saying, but always maintain sort of like an, if you've ever seen in the old Knight in Shining Armor movies, the freaking armor they use, but it's just got the, the slit for their eyes to see out, I want you to think of this technique, the hard shell, kind of like that. When you really need to cover up, you've still got that little piece of armor, that little piece of uh, eye slit in your armor shield. So let's get going. One, two, all right? One, two, one, two. I really want you to just train on that and make it kind of part of your muscle memory. So from the hard shell here, one, two, one, two, one, two. Before we even get messing around with one step, elbow, elbow, whatever it is, we want to really make sure that we got one, two, ha, ha. All right, and breathe, guys, breathe. Don't just go, I want you to get into it, really. I don't care if there's other people in the gym, they'll look at you like a psycho, like they do with me. Embrace it, all right? We're warriors, as we're training for a real fight. We're not training for some pussy ass or competition. All right, notice what I'm doing with my feet. Can the camera see my feet? One and two. And we're really putting all of our body weight behind it. So one, two, then we can step. One, one, two, and then we step off angle. And we can get it again. And then we can get a little more advanced with it, obviously. One, two, we can come with the elbow. Or one, two, step, elbow here. And we really just make it our bitch. We play with it um, and we really have fun with it. So the world's our oyster from here. One, two, we step, two, here, here, whatever we want to do. We, pra we practice, we have fun, we play with it. These hammer strikes are really devastating. Um, believe me, I've used them in the street. They fucking take people out. So get them into that muscle memory. One, two, step, two, uh, and then go from there. Hope you guys enjoyed this technique. Don't forget to um, subscribe. Check out our website, gutterfightingsecrets.com. We've got Gutter Fighting Secrets, the original combatives DVD on there. That's our foundation course. Frankly, one of our best sellers. Until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense, and I'll catch you later, guys.